date day on a Wednesday, which is kind of awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to really get on many rides because really the purpose that we are here is for the food and wine festival and to see if we can try the gray stuff and then try to get the Beauty and the Beast cup that we've been trying to get now for a few weeks. Do you think we're gonna get them this time? I really hope so. Yeah. We've uh, been sold out since day two. Since day two. And I haven't heard anybody post anything that's come back. So I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out today. If we're lucky enough to own that awesome cup. summer a month and a half early it's a lot more packed than I thought it was gonna to be too but spring break started yep. right yep. yeah that explains it so let's go into the castle I'm starting to get the feeling that we may not get this cup we've asked a, a few cast members and they keep saying that they have like, not oh, seen yeah, the cups those were nice. yeah we'll see we're almost there heading to the red rose tavern now Yes, we are. 
Thank you. How are you, Ty? I'm good at yourself. I'm doing well, thank you. Friends on there. Sure are. Hello, friends. California Adventure. We are standing in line to get the lanyards, uh, similar to the ones that they had last year, which allow you to get eight different meals. Uh, it's forty-five dollars for the entire lanyard. Uh, give me a second. I gotta give my wife my pass. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? We're doing well. We're excited to try the different foods. Yeah. Have you tried any other things out? No. no. Have you, Sandy? No. They gotta go on break. They gotta try some stuff. Let's do it! First food selection, food and wine. Salmon tatake. Really delicious. Recommend this one. Yeah! Bacon twist. Oh, and I got my first button too. That's pretty awesome. Uh, for every booth that you go to, there are 14 of these buttons that you can collect. So anytime that you turn in a tab for a food item, you get a chance to collect one of these. Uh, it's a nice little collectible. It's got the AP logo on there, but I guess trying to sample and get something from each one would be the goal. How are you guys? Good, what do you guys have today? She had the uh, wedge salad. How do you like it? It was really good. Yeah? Is it your first item today or have you sampled several today things? It's my first item. Is today. it? Today, yeah. What about you? I haven't had anything today. But you know so what? I've had these. Then that's these fantastic. And I highly recommend them. You know what? There's a beer going. You're already one of my favorite people here. Yeah, exactly. All right, you guys have a great day. All right, man. You too. Thank you. Right, so the next food item that we decided to get is the smoked mac and cheese and bacon on top. This is actually something we tried last year, and it's something that I had a chance to try at the beer festival thing that they used to have at the House of Blues when it was still here in downtown Disney. So, you ready for this one? I couldn't wait. It's bacon and it's cheese, two of my favorite things. Delicious. Yeah. You know, you can make this at home, but it's not at the Food and Wine Festival. What would the point be? So our next stop is Garlic Kissed. And this is actually one of the kiosks that I've been looking forward to. They have a grilled beef tenderloin slider with chimichurri sauce and a black garlic and soy braised pork belly bao with pickled vegetables. Now the um, pork belly bao, we actually tried it last year and it was super delicious. But there was a lot of us and when we tried it, we all wanted more and they ran out. So this time around, I think I'm gonna get both to make sure that I get a good share of it. But I know Lynette's gonna want some too. This is a two tavern. And that's what I'm saying. See, I'm telling you, this is what we've been looking forward to. The garlic infused pop here looks interesting. I'm afraid to try it. Let me see if I can find somebody that bought one and ask them what it tastes like. Uh, I know I've had avocado ice cream before. I've never had garlic ice cream, at least not this one. I've had a type of garlic ice cream. Hopefully it's the same. I've never had it with rosemary. And I think that's the part that's gonna check out the most. Infused ice cream? Like rosemary and avocado oil ice cream pop. Is it really good? It is. This is my second one. Shh, don't tell anyone. Really? It's awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. 
So after trying a couple of the things at the Garlic Kiss booth, I decided to actually go for it and get the Garlic Rosemary and Avocado Oil Ice Cream Pop. It looks like a push pop. And uh, I've had garlic ice cream before, I said that earlier. But the rosemary olive oil is what freaks me out about this because rosemary can be overpowering. At least from smelling it, it doesn't smell like rosemary. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. And hopefully it's not overbearing. It looks like it has white chocolate on top. And... Uh, it is not bad, it's very garlicky. Uh, you want to try it? Mm. What do you think? Wow. Yeah. It kicks you in the face. It does kick you in the face. In it's a way. lot more garlicky than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. It's an it's interesting not, combo with the chocolate. It's not garlicky in a bad way, but for ice cream, it seems strong. So as we were walking around, we found AJ and her friend Crystal. They are buying the uh, tags, the lanyards with the tags, so that they can go around purchasing some of the food items that they have. I haven't decided if this is like super amazing or just too garlicky to really enjoy it. I'm halfway there. It's very sweet because it tastes like vanilla ice cream. But the garlic flavor is just, at times, just a little too powerful. I'm gonna see if AJ wants to try it. See what she has to say about it. There you are. Sorry. Hey. How are you? Good. I'm hot. Is your line here? Too. No, not yet. I'm gonna wait for BJ. I would too. You wanna to try this? Kind of. It's a garlic ice cream. Go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh. Oh, what you oh, think? Oh. It's like a weird push pop thing. Oh, like the Flintstones. Those are yeah. my favorite. The orange ones? Yeah. Those are my favorite too. Wow. What do you think? It's kind of good, but. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't be craving this late at night. Like, right? mm, some garlic ice cream would hit the sweet tooth right now. That's kind of how I feel. Like, it's this weird balance of, like, sweetness and, like, yeah. So, this is Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Did you land it? I'm good. You ready? Ready. Do you want to try this? It's the garlic ice cream. Let's do it. Yes. All right, go for it. Tell us what you think about it. It's actually good. Yeah? What is that? It doesn't kick it. It's the garlic and rosemary uh, olive oil ice cream pop thing. Oh, okay, got it. I don't taste the rosemary. I don't taste the rosemary either. But I taste the garlic, you can taste it after too. Yeah. The yeah. garlic is the one that's just a little overpowering and just seems to kick you in the face right after. Like I said, it's got a really nice balance of vanilla, but the garlic is the one that's just a little overpowering at times. It's not bad, but like AJ said, it's not something you're going to wake up in the middle of the night thinking, you know what, I need a garlic ice cream sandwich. Uh-uh. Of course, the Food and Wine Festival would be nothing without booze. And one of the locations you can purchase alcohol from is California Craft Brews. They have a couple of flights available. Uh, one of the flights is the NorCal, or the NoCal as they call it here. Uh, it's got several different breweries from Mother Earth to St. Archer. Black Market is on there. Uh, it's pretty good. $13.25 will get you several different drinks. And probably the best thing that they have on tap is the Double Barrel Double IPA by Carl Strauss. Uh, everything else is great, including Stone's Tangerine Express. But really, this one right here, that's what you want. So one of the limited time offerings that they have at California Adventure this season is a brand new cotton candy flavor, which they can't technically call Dole Whip cotton candy, but it is pineapple. And I wanted to give it a try. I'm going to take it over to the group and we're all going to give it a try for the first time together. Let's see what everybody thinks about it. I don't know where Lynette went. Where did Lynette go? Oh, she went to buy something. Passion for lemonade. Like, signaling 
she's buying something to drink. The point is, we're all gonna try this together, we're gonna see what it tastes like, and hopefully it tastes close enough to a Dole Whip that it won't disappoint me. You guys ready? All right, so here you go. White and yellow. It is different. But yeah. So here's what I officially think about this pineapple cotton candy. The thing about pineapple to me is that when I have something that's pineapple flavor, I want it to taste refreshing and cold. And cotton candy is neither one of those two things. It's too dry to be pineapple flavor. I think AJ is right that the pineapple's a little too artificially tasting. But to me, pineapple stuff has to be cold and refreshing. Neither one, still delicious, but I don't think I would buy this again. But your kids are gonna love it. They would. It's trying really hard to taste like carnitas. And... Is your palate? Oh no, it's not confusing it at all. My palate is clearly saying this is nasty. Say goodbye to Disney for two. See you guys. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Alright, well it's time for us to call it a day here. We're gonna head out to pick up our kids. It was a good first run, right? Yeah. I we think we'll have some tickets for two more items online and I still have five on mine. And the good thing is that you don't have to use them all in one day. You do have until April 16th to use them all. The weird thing is you can only buy one a day, which is okay, I guess. But if you really want to sample a bunch of stuff and you're willing to give them money, I'm not exactly sure why they would prevent you from doing that. But thems are the rules. It was worth it, though. It was worth it. Uh, everything at the garlic kiosk was amazing. There was some misses. There was a couple of almost misses, but definitely some that were just never get that again. Uh, but I'm looking forward to trying some of the other stuff. I know that the LA style booth that we didn't get a chance to go to with the Dole Whip stuff, the, do uh, the uh, short rib tacos, uh, that I was looking forward to and we didn't get a chance to try. But the next time we come, at least we'll have some more tabs. It's early in the month. We'll yeah. have another half of a month. Watch out! Or so. Guys, and, and we'll still be able to purchase uh, another one of the lanyards to use if we want to get some more stuff. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. We're going to head out. Uh, if you guys like the video, remember to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys want updates on any more videos that we put up, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.